And Otis Nelson to the near side. And again, to the air. Screen pass complete to Marcus Cross. He's got some running room. He has an opening, and Marcus Cross may carry this one to the house. He does! Stepping out of the last tackler's grasp, and Utah State has a touchdown. Running on the speed. Well, Steve, they ran this play earlier in an earlier drive, and, and Nelson got too much pressure, wasn't able to get it. That time he stays in there, instead of dropping back, was able to make a good throw. And then this is just great running by Marcus Cross to get into the end zone. But what a great start for not only Utah State, Marcus Cross, but how about quarterback Riley Nelson getting his first touchdown pass? Justin Hamblin with a PAT try, and Damon Jenkins was the man who had the last shot at Marcus Cross. The kick is up, the kick is good, and the Aggies have a 7-0 lead with a minute 32 remaining in the first quarter. Engineered by Riley Nelson, who throws the touch screen, and then it's all up to Marcus Cross with a great cutback, and the afterburners kick in. The Aggies lead by seven. We'll return to Romney Stadium, Fresno State football in just a moment. High kick, Robinson fields, cuts back, has the seam, and Robinson swings to the outside, still on his feet. The putter comes over and makes the hit. Zimmerman comes over, was the first man to get a hold of him. Play for first down. Keep it on the ground. And Wright is wrapped up. Uh, if I'm Fresno State, I call timeout here, Steve. He's got away with one there. I didn't get it. I trapped it. First and 10 from the 33 after the reversal on the field. Ooh. Dwayne Wright stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Collision, dead center. Wright, the single setback. Gets the call. Tripped up. Perhaps gain two yards. It's third and seven now for Fresno. Early here in the third quarter. Randstater throws. Broken up on the play by Marquise Charles, who may not. Robinson stands at his 30, set to receive the punt for the first Aggie possession. So Utah State, the defense has held as we open up this second half. Robinson doesn't call for the fair catch, living dangerously. Avoids that first tackler and now has some room. And Robinson out past the 42 yard line. Team win. Riley Nelson now in a 7 7 game. Ball fake to Marcus Cross. He'll tuck it, pulls it down. Across the 40, takes a hit at about the 43-yard line. Well, the parents of the punter can't say anything anyway. So you have, you know. Third and nine, 48-yard line, line of scrimmage. Brandstater flushed out of the pocket. Ooh. And Brandstater leveled in the open field. Utah State doing a great job. It was last week against Idaho, and it didn't make much difference. So they're running true to form. But it's first and ten. Quarterback keeper. Riley Nelson puts his head down. He's still spinning. He's on his feet, across the 20, and drags the pack with him to the 25-yard line. All the things that you, you could ask from a kid, and uh, you can see right here, boom, just gets in there, leg drive, leg drive. Not a big kid, but just able to get things done, and that, that's the thing that feet... First down for Fresno State. The ball rests at the 42-yard line of the Bulldogs, and they lead 9-7. Great open field tackle made. Big third down for both units. Third and six. Quarterback, nowhere to go. Spins outside. And the Aggies close again as Calderwood wraps him up shy of the first down. Talked about Riley Nelson being the uh, manager of the game, and he was going to add a lot of things. One, the coaches are wrong for not pushing him. And two, he has a quarterback. He's supposed to have a great mind. He's got to get this and get these guys in the line of scrimmage and get things going. Inside two minutes. And from the shotgun, Riley Nelson. Throwing to the outside. Cross steps out of bounds. To get the first down. Now, again, I'm going to keep talking about it. Minute 38. Three timeouts. If you're not going to use your timeouts, get the guys in the line of scrimmage and make some plays. Because now they're at the point where if they don't score here, the game's over. There's not going to be enough time to get the ball back. Clock will start at the snap. Fresno brings four. Quick throw to the outside, complete the cross. Steps out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. Man-to-man -man coverage down on the bottom side of the TV. And keeping the ball is Nelson. He calls his own number, gets to the outside. Can he get the corner? No. And he's put out of bounds inside the 20. The clock 
it stops at 128, and the Aggies continue to drive. All the way. You know, people talk about confidence, Steve, and whether he'd have enough confidence Look to come in the ball and, and play. And, uh, yeah, well, he's a, he's a heady player. You know, I got on him for the, the clock man. To quiet this crowd down a little bit so they can hear the signals on first and 10 from the 18-yard line. Aggies need a touchdown to win it. Pump fake. Looking. And Nelson is going to take the sack. It's second and 13 from the 21-yard line. Will this drive result in a touchdown that would give the Aggies the lead? Remember, Fresno still has timeouts as well. Rolling, looking, throwing. He's got a man in the end zone. And a touchdown, you trust State! Well, it's, I think it's going to get called back, uh, I Steve. think there was a push-off on the receiver. I, I, and there was so much separation that the official, he didn't call it right away, Steve. And, and the, the flag came in a little bit late. Let's see. Second and 20. Yeah, I don't know about it on that look. The, the, uh, the defensive back stumbled, but look at the field position. The ball is at the 36-yard line, second and 28. That is a major penalty, folks. And now Jensen throws the swing pass to the outside to Cross. Cross steps inside and can't get out of bounds, and now they'll have to take a timeout. Well, guy, there's that separation. The guy's pushing forward. He must have pushed off. That's what I don't like. By the way, credit Robinson with a great reception no matter what. Third and 22 from the 30. Jensen. Excuse me, Nelson throws. He's got a man. He, he got the pylon. The pylon is down, and that's what he's pointing to. Robinson says, I got to have a score. This one should be reviewed. Well, there, there's a touchdown. There's a penalty on the floor. Watch him as he gets the pylon. He said, hey, I got to get the touchdown. Well, I don't understand the coverage by Fresno State going man to man. And the receiver just runs a good route, Kevin Robinson. The result of the play on the field is a touchdown. Yeah, that's yeah, a touchdown. That's touchdown all the way. I think that'll hold up, Steve. I was wrong on the first one. But... And wow. you got to credit Robinson again. Look at the stretch, well, that presence of mind to get the ball to the pylon. Robinson, you look at Robinson, the throw, but also the offensive line. I mean, everybody gets credit on this, but a, a super stretch. He's definitely in bounds, gets the ball to the pylon. This is going to stand up now. It's rolling on the is confirmed. confirmed touchdown there you go this is the reaction by the way to the uh, the review result there you go he says i knew it we had it all along really knows how to win steve and uh you know if he, if he would have wasted a little bit more time then then fresno state wouldn't have had any more time right <laughs> which is what you were saying all along <laughs> game management calls his own number don't fumble nope that's the only thing that could hurt, yeah, happen, yeah, that could hurt him right now and sure. well they give it a kick and it's a kick that's returnable and problems with it. Fernandez picks it up at the 15 to the outside. And it can't keep him in bounds, but they get it. Got to at least get into field goal range, and who knows what that is for Clint Stitzer right now. The throw, complete. West has a first down and finally knocked down. Either way, with 20 seconds of the clock moving, Bramstader looks to throw. Throws incomplete, intended for West. State situation one and three the sophomore quarterback is you know has only started so far this year you know he made some mistake down the middle of the throw is too long and incomplete 34 yard line still two timeouts though with nine seconds left I'm not sure why you wouldn't use those to maybe regroup a little bit but this is third down and this is incomplete right here last play of the game in all probability Brand Stater. Heaves one as far as he can, and it's up for grabs. It's short of the end zone, and knocked down by Utah State. The Aggies have won. Riley Nelson, in his first start, the true freshman. And the Cinderella story continues of the man who led his high school team to the 3A championship. The Parade All-America has led the Aggies to their first win of the season. Utah State with 267 in yards, but the big score, of course, is the one on the scoreboard. You look at those numbers, Mike, and a couple of things stand out for Utah State tonight. A good, solid effort. Well, it really was, Steve. In, in 319 yards of Fresno State, Utah State had been giving up 100 more than that. So really solid. They were put in bad positions, uh, the defense out there, and they came up with some big plays. And, and offensively, again, Steve, I think everybody rallied around the new quarterback. They didn't make mistakes. They hung in there. They fell behind. And what a great drive to end the game in the pass for the, the touchdown, the go-ahead touchdown. And for Riley Nelson and these Aggie fans, it can't get any sweeter than tonight. They come from behind. They drive the length of the field, and they win it by a score of 13 to 12. Stay tuned for our two news on KJS coming your way next and then talking sports right after that. The final score, Utah State 13, Fresno State 12. Steve Brown for Mike Norseth and our entire KJS production crew saying hope you enjoyed tonight's telecast and from Romney Stadium in Logan, Utah. Good night, everybody.